my name is Tom Sagrath with Pepper and Fuchs Technical Support. Today I'll be demonstrating how to program an F77 ultrasonic sensor with push button. For this demonstration, you will need three items out of the demo case. The first being the UC250 F77 ultrasonic sensor. You'll need a power supply and the MA to M12 connector. Included in the demo case is also an ultrasonic push button programming sheet demonstrating what will be covered in this video. This image shows the front side of the ultrasonic push button programming sheet included in the demo case. This side covers teaching the switch points for the sensor as well as how to reset the sensor to its factory defaults. This slide shows the back side of the push button programming sheet. This side includes how to program the three different modes of operation for the sensor. It also includes how to program these modes if you're using an IO link sensor. The F77 ultrasonic sensors offers four operation modes. These modes include output mode, output logic, beam width, and the switching points for the sensor. First, we will cover the output modes available on the sensor. The four output modes are switch point mode, window mode, hysteresis mode, and retroreflective mode. The F77 ultrasonic sensor offers two different types of output logic normally open and normally closed. The standard model of the sensor offers three different options for your beam width, narrow, medium, and wide. You can see roughly what those would look like on the image displayed on the slide. However, when using an IO link sensor, more beam width options are available. Now we will begin discussing what you need to do to program your sensor with push button. First, before you do any programming, it is good practice to factory reset the sensor. This ensures that the settings that you place on the sensor are the ones that you want. To factory reset the sensor, hold the button for more than 10 seconds. The light will start green, flash yellow, flash green, and then become solid green again. Once it is solid green, you can release the button and the sensor will have been reset. The default settings of the sensor are window mode, normally open, and then switching points at 25 and 250 millimeters. To configure the sensor for its output mode, we will first hold down the push button for five seconds until you see the light begin to flash green. Then, to cycle between the four output settings we discussed earlier, use short button presses. One pulse indicates switch point, two pulses indicates window, three for hysteresis, and four for retroreflective. After you've chosen your output mode, we can now set the output logic. To move on to the output logic, hold the push button for two seconds until you see the light begin to flash yellow. You can then cycle between the two options using short button presses. One yellow pulse indicates normally open, and two indicate normally closed. Now we can set our desired beam width. To move on to the beam width, push the button for two seconds until it begins to flash red. Once it flashes red, you can cycle between the three different options using short button presses. One flash means a narrow beam, two for the medium, and three for the wide. After you've selected your beam width, hold the button for two more seconds. When it is released, the light will turn green indicating normal operation. Now we will show a live demonstration of how to configure an F77 ultrasonic sensor with push button. Now I will demonstrate how to push button configure the F77 sensor. Before we begin, it is good practice to factory reset the sensor. To do this, we will hold the button on top for approximately 10 seconds. While it is resetting, it will flash orange, then flash green, and then once it is solid green, it has been restored to factory defaults. Now to begin programming, we will hold the button for approximately 5 seconds. You will see it flash orange and then once it begins to flash green, we're ready to begin. So now that it is flashing green, we are setting uh, the switching mode for this sensor. So flashing three times indicates that we are in hysteresis mode. Pressing once, we can cycle through the different options. Now it is flashing four times, indicating retroreflective. Pressing once, we'll switch it to switch point mode, and pressing again, we'll have two flashes indicating window mode. To move on, hold the button for two seconds. Now that it is flashing yellow, we can select the output logic for the sensor. 
one flash indicates normally open, and two flashes indicate normally closed. To cycle in between, simply press once. To move on, we'll hold again for two seconds. Now it is flashing red, indicating that we are selecting the beam width. Two flashes indicates that we are in the medium beam width mode. Pressing shortly, we can move on to three for wide, and one red flash indicating small beam width or narrow. Once you've selected what you want, you can hold for two seconds again to finish configuration. However, it will not stop flashing red until you let go. When it returns to solid green, it is ready to perform. Thank you for watching this video demonstrating how to push button configure an F77 ultrasonic sensor. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to leave a like on the video and share our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about the F77 ultrasonic sensors or other products offered by Pepperone Fuchs, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Thank you.